In this video, I will show you how to hire a freelancer on Upwork. So to do this, what you want to go and do first is just create your Upwork client account. If you haven't done that yet, simply click on the link down in the description. From there, click get started, then select that you are a client looking for a freelancer. So after you create your account, you will get to your Upwork dashboard looking similar to this. Now you won't have any hires or jobs yet. So what you need to do is click on post a job. Then you will get the option to use AI or do it yourself. Now, since I've already picked do it myself, for me, it just skips to the next step. So is it a long-term project or short-term? So is it less than 30 hours a week and will it be shorter than three months or more than 30 hours a week and or will be longer than three months? For example, say short term. Then click continue. And now here again, you get the option. So get help from AI. And if you want to do that, just click get started using AI. I do recommend using that since that will save some time. So first you need to describe what you are looking for in a sentence or two. For example, I need someone to help me build a Shopify website for my office furniture business. Then after you write in one sentence what you are looking for, then go and click continue. Now again, this is only if you're using AI. If you're doing it yourself, then you will need to write everything yourself, which can also be good. Then you can choose if it's an hourly rate or a fixed price. I'm going to set it to a fixed price and let's say $3,000. Now you can also choose hourly rate and here you can then see how much most people are charging. But again, I'll go with the fixed price and click continue. Now, if you use AI, then now the AI will create the thing for you. So it has the description right here. Now you can go and edit it by clicking on the edit button. They can choose to rewrite it, make it more casual, make it formal, shorten it, add more details, whatever you want to do, or you can write it out yourself. Then here you can see the scope of the work, the skills the people need, the budget. You can add any screening questions you want. For example, describe your recent experience with similar projects. Then the advanced preferences, so the English level, higher date, number of professionals needed and more. Now what I recommend to do is to set it to amount earned over $100 and then the job success 90% and up. So that way you have people that have already done jobs before and the client that hired them was very happy. So then you can add some more preferences and you can invite talent. So you can also do this later, but for now just click next and then finalize job post. Now here choose the right option for you. So a standard job or a featured job, the featured one costs $24.99 per post. And this helps you maximize your reach. You can invite up to 70 freelancers daily to apply and you get a featured badge to stand out. And this will basically help you attract top talent to find the right match. So you can do that if you want, or you can just post the standard for free. And there you can invite up to 30 freelancers in total, whereas here it's 70 per day. Now, people can also apply without being invited. So this isn't absolutely necessary. So I'll just go post a standard for free. And now you will see, congratulations, your job post is now live. So now what happens is in your upper dashboard, you can see the job post right here. Now you can start inviting freelancers. So you can see a bunch of people that match with the skills and budget and the job success and stuff like that, that you set for this specific job post. And you can just click invite, write them a message and then click send invitation. Now in the next section here, which is review proposals. Right here, you can see everyone that has sent you a proposal to do this job for you, and you can chat with them right here. Then if you hire someone or even multiple people, they will show up in the hire section. And basically you will set up a contract with them through Upwork. Now you can also see your messages at the top right there. And through here, you can also find your messages. Now from the Upwork dashboard, you will now also see the job post right here and you can see if there are any new proposals. So if there are, you can simply click on it and then it will take you to the proposals or if not, just click review proposals right there and it will even filter them by the most qualified people. So after you find a good person, just arrange a price and then set up a contract, which is very simple and Upwork basically just does that for you and then just make the payment and then they can start working for you and you have hired a freelancer through Upwork. 
So now you know how to hire someone on Upwork. Now again, if you have not yet created your free Upwork client account, then go and click on the link in the description and through there, just click get started and create your account and then follow the steps that I showed you in this video. So now you know how to hire a freelancer on Upwork. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.